Morning world, welcome to Thursday 22nd of September and um, a bit of a mercy run for my daughter this morning. Not for you. Okay, first things first though, I have got a load of firewood to go to an old friend client in Stroud. And that's one of the reasons I've been, I won't say lumbered with the bag, but it's, this isn't the best vehicle to be driving around the city with to deliver um, emergency supplies. But yeah, so we're going to Stroud, drop off these logs and then we're into Gloucester. Go on, in you go into Gloucester to deliver that bag. So my grandson was born yesterday. Uh, he was born uh, small because he's almost a month early. Uh, Freddy, I think is, is gonna be his name or it's gonna be Fred for short. Uh, he was born, was it 2.2 2 .2 kilos? So four pound, Eight out of four, five pound, just under five pound. Um, so he was born early because Emma had preeclampsia and she'd suffered quite badly, especially in the last week, 10 days of the pregnancy. She had headaches, she had other things I'm not going to mention. She was just really unwell. Um, and it got to the point where her blood pressure and her protein levels were going through the roof and they were that close to do an emergency C-section on her. Anyway, so what they decided to do is to induce her, which they did day before yesterday. So they induced her mid-morning, I think, and kind of nothing happened. And then they were going to induce her again next day, yesterday morning, which I think they did. Um, actually, I know they did, because apparently the second time they induced her, it stang. Apparently, that operation, I wouldn't know, I'm a bloke, it's not very pleasant. Um, and um, so I induced her again, and then they were going to break her waters for her, and they were going to do this, and they were going to do that. Anyway, um, she got so fed up with being poked and prodded, she'd more or less elected to go C-section. Anyway, I, I don't know the entire full details of the story, and if my wife was here, she'd be correcting me, because she, she likes to do that. Basically, Emma's waters broke, and from the time her waters broke to the birth of my grandson was something like 24 or 28 minutes. It was a case of waters are gone, oh, oh, it's, oh crumbs, it's coming, it's happening, and, and then he was there. So, anyway, mother and child are okay. They're keeping Emma in for a few days because of her blood pressure issues and the proteins, um, in her wee and everything else, all this maternity stuff that I don't really get, um, she's staying in. And of course, Mike is up there with her. So my granddaughter is here being entertained by my youngest daughter. And Holly's got cakes being collected and she's delivering cakes today, so she can't go to Gloucester. My wife's on duty for CAB all day today and I'm delivering logs, but because I'm going to Stroud and I'm kind of halfway to Gloucester, uh, it was suggested that maybe I could help, and to the point where I couldn't really say no. So I'm going to Gloucester via Stroud. So exciting times, I think. I think it's exciting times. I'll let you know in about 15 years.
right, we've arrived. Um, this is about the furthest we ever come as far as firewood's concerned. Um, it's quite away from home, it's 14 miles, we don't normally go this far. But as I get on very well with this gentleman, um, he buys a lot, I let him off. Morning! I had to stop for a second. I was about to spring a leak, so I thought I better, um, you know, do it where I wanted to do it, rather than in here. You know what I mean. Right, that's me load of logs done. Nice view from up here. We are now off to the city of Gloucester. And I'd far sooner be here than there. So would she. Welcome to the, well, not really the heart of Gloucester. Still kind of the outskirts of Gloucester. So I've just come in through Barnwood off Junction 11A. Uh, for us, this is the quickest way to get into Gloucester Royal Hospital. So, and we are about, I don't know, a mile away. Stuff like that. Hopefully, we're gonna get in to the main tower entrance and find Michael waiting for me. So I've only got to do like a flying stop. I don't want to be paying car parking. Not really Land Rover territory around right here. Um, the only upside of having a Land Rover is people do tend to respect them a little bit. They give us a little bit of space. Not everybody, but most will give us a little bit of space. Yeah. Makes up for being so bloody uncomfortable. Own the road. Fuel's gone back up a little bit, one pound eighty point nine. Unless that's just city prices. It was below one eighty around at Wooden last week. I don't like driving in town. Too many people. Hopefully Michael has been following me on the tracker and he knows exactly where I am. Hopefully. There he is. Yeah, I'll just oh, grab it, mate. Much. All right, mate. Yeah, no worries. All right, see you in a bit. See Cheers. Much. Bye. Right, all I've got to do now is get out of here. Uh, back a bit, I think. Yeah. Or around the roundabout. I hope it's around the roundabout.
Right, mission accomplished. Hi. I'm going home. <laughs>